Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Tuesday, May the 10th. Yesterday, markets had the case of the Mondays, unchanged at sessions and S&P going nowhere, a 10-point range between the high and the low. Dow futures were down, weighed on by Caterpillar, which is a big stock in that 30 index, down 35 points, but the Nasdaq led the way positive, up about a quarter percent. The dollar index back above 94, which is a big deal from a pivot point, up 23, pushing the euro currency down below 114. So let's remember last week that euro currency made new highs at 116, but closed lower on the session, a technical rever key reversal, and it's been moving lower ever since. The bond market has been firming, so right now the yield on the 10-year note has moved down to 1.75 after the bounce we saw in the last couple of weeks. Crude oil was one of the big market movers yesterday, did get as high as $46 a barrel, uh, on good numbers out of China imports. And then they came out with the news that the uh, forest fires in Canada uh, were not going near the oil production facilities. So we're, the crude market was down one and a quarter. 43.45 was a close, down 3% on the day. A big mover was also gold with this dollar firming, down $27 yesterday, a 2% loss to 12.67. So after the mixed action yesterday, where do these markets stand here Tuesday morning? Well, we're positive in the stock indexes, getting a bit of a boost, up about a quarter percent right now, up eight points in the S&P 2062, up 70 points in the Dow futures, and up 12 points in the NASDAQ 100. Currencies are steady. Crude oil is getting a bit of a bounce, up 50 cents, around $44 right now. There was a number that came out from Saudi Arabia that says that global demand is going to increase about a billion, a million barrels per day. So that's a positive on the demand side, which is much needed. And lastly, gold's down at $1.1266. So to wrap up this current action with half an hour to go before the cash stock market open, we've got the stock index futures right now, positive up eight in the S&P, up 70 in the Dow, and up 12 in the NASDAQ 100 as we get to the end of earnings season. Earnings this morning had come out, uh, Gap stores, didn't have earnings numbers, but it had same store sales uh, decline. And so that stock is gapping down, down 12% as we're now into the retail earnings season. So that's what we're gonna see as we tail off uh, for the next couple weeks. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.